Governor held a news conference in Santa Fe late this afternoon, and right now she's not lifting any restrictions. In fact, she's making some even stricter. Action 7 News reporter Brandon Evans is live outside the Roundhouse. Now, Doug and Shelly just took my mask off so that I could do this live shot, but I've been wearing it the entire time I was outside of the car here on the Roundhouse grounds. And I'll tell you why that's important here in just a second, but more now on this new health order, which lasts for two weeks. And as you said, the governor not lifting any restrictions, but not adding new restrictions either. That means capacity limits still remain on restaurants and stores. Entertainment venues are still closed and mass gatherings still prohibited. And that health order, well, it includes a stay at home recommendation, telling people to socially distance when they're out and about and making wearing masks mandatory. In fact, the new change today was that people who refuse to wear masks in public or business owners who don't wear them or don't give their employees masks to wear while they're working, well, they could be receiving a $100 fine for that. Now, the governor also talking about us, New Mexicans, that we need to do more in order to move into phase three of this reopening phase. And she says that these health orders apply to everyone. Now that includes elected officials. When I see elected officials in an event on Facebook, speaking to a group of 30 or more outside with mariachis behind them, blowing horns and playing, and singing, I am clear that they have violated the public health order. Now, the governor also sticking to her guns when it comes to quarantine. That is anyone who travels from outside the state into New Mexico must quarantine for 14 days. Now, that's due in large part to the huge spike that we're seeing on our state's borders with Texas and Arizona, which those states now seeing some of the highest new cases in the entire country. Reporting in Santa Fe, Brandon Evans, KWT Action 7 News. Brandon will have a full recap from the Roundhouse tonight on Action 7 News live at 10. And